Hi, you're listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Hello and welcome to Book Chat. I am your host, author Vivian e. Moore. I hope everyone is having a great week. I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, well... I just want to say happy anniversary to me. Uh, Book Chat is officially three years old. We've been running strong for three years. And I am so, 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 so happy and thrilled um, to be able to um, to say that, you know. Uh, you know, we started out just doing one show a week. And that's what we've been doing for the last three years, which seems to be working and uh, I'm just, I'm amazed. I'm just so amazed that, um, you know, that, that I was able to pull that off. Uh, and, and plus, you know, I'm, I'm able to do something that I love so very much. And that's being able to talk about, uh, books and talk, you know, everything that that encompasses publishing, writing, you know, all of those things. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just so happy that uh, that we have completed three years of dedication, and that's a milestone within itself um, that I couldn't have done without you, my dedicated listeners. And thank you so much for listening and for downloading the show each week. Um, that motivated me to continue and to strive to achieve, you know, all the goals that I set in place for myself, and I and I, I that I never even knew uh, was possible, you know. Um, each week before the show aired, I would strategize new ways to touch on uh, writing and publishing uh, topics that I that I believe uh, would prove um, helpful to my fellow authors. And you know, and with your help and support, it made the process of creating a relationship uh, with my fellow authors and audience a great success. Um, now, I, I can't forget all my guests who also took part in the success of Book Chat uh, these last three years. And I want to thank them for being so gracious and taking time from their schedules um, to do the show. Um, I had several that were um, in, uh, um, well, they were in uh, other parts of the world, um, Australia and, uh, um, oh my gosh, where was the other one? Uh, it was in, I don't want to say Sweden, but it was somewhere over in that, in that area. Um, uh, who, where else? Uh, 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 I think we did one that was in Finland, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, did quite a few, uh, in, uh, in England and, uh, and then, and, you know, here, uh, in the States, California, Chicago, um, right here in my hometown, Tennessee, um, you know, uh, my very first interview was, uh, uh, in, uh, it was from California, uh, Adam DeCapolis. He was my very first guest on, on book chat and I've never forgotten him. Um, you know, and that's the year 2019 that sort of turned book chat around because, uh, prior to that we did shows, uh, each Saturday and it was just basically me talking about, you know, writing and, and, and authoring and things of that nature. But then 2019 happened and, uh, we, we started having, um, guests over and, uh, <laughs> and it's just been, you know, just one amazing show after another with amazing guests. Um, that were also, uh, you know, they came on and, and we talked about their books. We talked about writing. We had quite a few uh, publishing companies and agents and things like that. Uh, people like that that were also on the show um, that were also helping us, helping me, um, you know, um, share all of this information uh, with uh, with uh, future authors that were out there that maybe, you know, didn't understand the process completely or they didn't know, you know, where to, where to start. They needed a good starting point. So, um, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to, um, start doing this podcast 
and because it was to help, you know, other authors that maybe hadn't gotten as far as I, as I have with my career, but, um, I wanted to, um, enable them to, to be able to do the same thing. So that was why I started book chat. And, uh, again, you know, like I said, I'm just so thankful that I've had so many guests, uh, over the past year. And, um, and so, uh, you know, I've extended, uh, an invitation, uh, to some of them and hopefully they will accept and two have already accept. So, uh, in the meantime, I want to share with you some of the interviews over the last year with the audience, uh, that we want to look back on now. And, uh, and also some of the, the previous shows that were favorites of mine and, um, um, and, and some fan favorites as well. So we're going to start with 2018. So uh, one of the shows that we did in 2018 was called A Place at the Table. And that was one of my favorites. And that was uh, us talking about how uh, we fit into, uh, you know, um, as self-publishers. Um, how, you know, we we deserve to have a place at the table too. And we've earned that right now because self-publishing is is booming. It is really, really booming. So, you know, the authors are catching on and 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 now they know that um that they have a place at the table. You know, they have a bargaining tool. So um, you know, some of the major publishing companies may not like that, but you know, the self publishers are here to stay and uh, because it's it's just a simplified way of getting uh, your dreams fulfilled. Um, you know, you still have to go through the steps, making sure everything is airtight as possible, um, because you want to make sure that you're, that, that you're, um, that the, the books and, and, um, that you're putting out or still, you know, standard, they're up to standard, they're up to par, um, because, you know, you want to continue to grow, um, as writers and authors. And then, uh, another show we did in 2018 was called Give Thanks. So, um, you know, without a lot of explanation, we know what that means. So we have a lot of things to give thanks for and, you know, and a lot of it. And, and that's why I wanted to do this show. Uh, I'm giving thanks to everyone who has ever supported me, who has ever listened to the show and liked the show and downloaded it and told someone else about it. I thank you so much for doing that. Um, because if it, if you didn't, you know, then I, it wouldn't be possible for me to continue on, uh, without actually having listeners. So I thank you so very much for that, for, um, everything that you do. So a lot of the topics that I come up with for the show is based on the things that I've experienced and, um, and, you know, and I want to share those things. So, uh, another show that we did, uh, for 2019 is I can do all things. And so I've I've sort of got a thing going here. Um, and, um, because that's what I believe. I believe that I can do all things through Christ Jesus, um, that strengthens me. You know, I believe that if I, you know, if I, if I, if I pray about it and, you know, I've got my, got my mindset on it and I'm agreeing, you know, touching and agreeing in the spirit, I believe that is possible. So I know that I can do all things. And so, um, you know, and I, and I want to import that to, um, to, to anyone else who, uh, lack the confidence to believe in themselves, because, you know, you have to start first with you. Um, you have to believe in yourself first, if you want others to believe in you. And, you know, that's just one of the, that's just one of the major things that I always say. Um, and I strongly believe in that you have to believe in yourself first, if you want others to believe in you. So another show that we did uh, in 2019 was called Making It Happen. So that that is another show that dealt with dedication. And, um, you know, because you have to be dedicated to everything you do. Um, you have to have um, a sense of accomplishment and, um, you know, and wherewithal to start something and finish it, you know. So um, making it happen. Uh, you know, all the time things, um, you know, or it's, it's just not there for us. Um, but, um, but if we keep striving forward and believing that we can, we will. All right. So another show that we did was called the perfect 10. And that of course, uh, that was back in March of this year. Uh, we did the perfect 10 and that was actually, uh, 10 of my favorite books, uh, that, uh, that I share it with you guys. And, uh, uh, and we'll do that some more, uh, because I read all the time. So I, I, I want to share those books with, uh, with my listeners so they can go out there and read them as well. All right. So, uh, the last 
uh, show. Uh, this was in April. Um, it was called Haste Makes Waste. That was April of 2020. And we all know how when you rush through things, you you know, you, you get what you put into it. So if you rush through it, you know, you know how that's going to turn out. And I don't care what it is, you know. If it's, if it's doing a show, if it's writing a book, if it's cooking a meal, you know, if you rush, if you rush through it, you can tell, you know, it, it's, it's not a big mystery about that. You'll know. So, but, but anyway, I just want to make this announcement, um, that, um, uh, I had mentioned that I had two guests that have agreed to, uh, come back on the show and, uh, uh, to help me celebrate my three year, um, anniversary on, uh, book chat. And so, uh, we, we've, we've got to get those scheduled for the month of August because, you know, last month was, uh, actually the anniversary month. So I want to spend the month of August, um, having these shows, uh, with, uh, with some of my past guests on and, uh, you know, and, and letting them catch up with you, you know, and let, and, and I want to catch up with them as well. Um, and, you know, talk about other books that maybe they've, uh, you know, that they've published, uh, within this year's time. And, uh, you know, just, just to, just to, uh, you know, to chat with them a little bit and, and see how things are going in their life. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope that you are as well. Um, because it's important to, um, you know, to, to, to share those things and to, uh, to show the people, um, that have helped you along the way. Um, who have, you know, stood there, uh, and, and agreed to, um, you know, to, to do, to do interviews on this show. Um, I want to show my appreciation to them too, because it's not just my anniversary is theirs as well. Um, because we've, we've been there together. We've done this thing together. And so, you know, we're three years strong, we've been doing it and I'm just so excited about that. And just so, um, excited to, you know, continue on, uh, uh, into the, into the next season to continue to do this show and to partner with, uh, other writers and authors, um, you know, to have them on as guests so they can continue to share what they do as well and, you know, share their work with you and, uh, it, and just to give you, just to encourage you more to show that, um, you know, if you work, if you work hard enough and you don't give up that you can accomplish it, you can, you can accomplish anything, um, that you set your mind to, um, you know, and set those goals. So, uh, anyway, be looking forward to that for the whole month of August. We're going to have the guest on, uh, hopefully, uh, one each week, uh, to, um, to celebrate our anniversary. So, uh, I look, I look forward to, uh, celebrating the fourth year anniversary, uh, come next year. And, uh, just to, just to, um, share with you, we didn't reach our goal of 10,000, but that's okay. That is okay. We still have the rest of 2020, um, to get that done. So I thank you so very much. All of you who have downloaded the show and listened to it. I thank you so much for doing, for doing that much. Um, it just shows me that, 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 um, um, you know, that you listen to the show and that you appreciate, you know, what I'm trying to do. So I thank you so very much for, um, you know, for all that you guys do, um, to make book chat a reality. So I don't want to keep you too long. I just wanted to basically take this time, uh, for today's show and, uh, you know, just tell you that it's anniversary time and how much I appreciate you and, uh, you know, how much I love you guys for, you know, just staying in there with me. And uh, before I let you go, I want to make sure that I give you these URLs so you can keep in, keep in contact with the show and everything that we're doing here at Book Chat. So the first one, of course, is the Spreaker, and that is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash author Vivian Moore. You can also follow me on Facebook uh, Twitter and Instagram and Instagram is by invitation only. You can also check out my, uh, my website and that is author and author eh Um, also if you follow my blogs, uh, my blog site, that is, um, HTTPS colon, uh, forward slash forward slash, uh, Vivian E more dot block com. And also, um, if you miss the live, uh, shows, you can always download them and listen to them later. And of course you can listen to it on Spreaker, um, iTunes, Apple podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google podcasts, Castbox, Deezer podcast, Attic, Podchaser, YouTube, and SoundCloud. So those are all the ways that you can stay in contact with, uh, book chat and, um, 
before I let you go, I want you to know that tomorrow is the first Sunday and it's worship day. And you know what that means. Invite family and friends and neighbors to listen in uh, to the to the messages uh, that will be uh, brought to you tomorrow by way of uh, Internet uh, live video chats, things of that nature. So, you know, I know a lot of churches are still not uh, doing in-person services and that's probably wise because, uh, we are like, you know, we have read everywhere, um, in our, in our state of Tennessee. So, you know, it's not safe. If you don't have to be out, don't be out. Um, you know, make sure you continue to social distance and, and wear your mask, you know, uh, because that's very important too. And also tell someone that you love them because tomorrow isn't promised. Today may be the only chance you get to say that. So I love you. I hope you love me back. Until the next time you hear my voice, God bless you and goodbye. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.